Hey, hello again, and thanks for joining me for another episode in my uh, Klingon Katinga model build. So we're moving right along here. We have the front of the ship, and last time I had painted the inside for uh, light diffusing, and there's this little piece here that holds the model together that actually blocks lighting through the window. So I'm going to cut that center piece out. It's not really needed. Uh, the side ones are fine, plus I'm filling in all along the seams for light blocking. So I'm just going to cut this off here so that I can have a nice clean view through the front of the windows here. Get this put back together and it fits so nice and tight, it's not necessary or needed. And I have a whole set of some uh, LED strip here that I got from Paragraphics. And I have got them here and I'm going to cut a length that I think should be suitable to fill the front. So I'm going to go ahead and snip it off here and make a piece that's going to be about an inch back from the windows. And you can see that's nice and bright inside there. And I'm going to put a rod on either side here for support. So you can see I've got one glued into position here and I've got one glued into position on the other side as well. And then I'm just going to take the light strip and I glued it to those rods to hold it in place for me. And I've put some diffusion across the front here, double layered it and glued that in place. I'm going to go ahead and put the top on here. And I'm just going to do a light test to see how it looks. And right off the bat, there's really no light leak at all. Uh, the model was designed for lighting, so the way the pieces go together, it has kind of built-in light blocking, but it looks really good and the windows light up great. So I put some rods in on the lower portion here as well so that I can light the lower portion. And I've got another strip here, a piece that I cut out, LED strip. And I'm just going to, again, glue it to these in a position like this, away from the windows, about half inch to an inch. And I've got that glued into position and the wire running out the neck. And you can see those light up and they're nice and bright. And it'll illuminate the entire inside of this spherical portion. And again, I put some doubled up diffusion around the inside here to diffuse the light and make it more even through the windows. And I'm going to go ahead and put this piece on here and just again do another light test and you can see it's nice and bright in there and when I push it down and seal it there's really no light leak at all again. It looks very good and here I have it actually glued together and there's no light leaking at all. It looks really nice and evenly lit. So I'm really happy with how this has turned out using the LED strip over the uh, two LEDs that came with the lighting kit. And it's also still nice and bright in normal lighting. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue in the back portion of the uh, launch tube for the torpedoes and I've got that glued in place. And moving on we have these lights for the upper portion of the front. This is the one that lights the bridge. These here are the two that are supposed to light the back lights on the back portion of the bridge. And these two are supposed to light the windows which I will not be using. So I've got some liquid electrical tape here which I love and I've glued the two to light the windows together and I'm just going to goop up some electrical light tape around these lights just to hold them together and block their light. Go ahead and I'm going to insert the light into the bridge portion here which is that clear red piece and I'm just going to glue that into position here with some of my uh, extra thin cement and I've got that glued now and then the other two I'm just going to tuck inside here because they're not needed since I'm using my LED strip. And then these other two, they just fit right into the back here with these other little clear back pieces that light up out the back. The next set of LEDs I have from the kit is this one here. And this one is to light up the torpedo launch tube. and these other two here 
were to light up the windows on the lower spherical portion of the front and like before I'm going to glue these two together and then um, I gooped them up with my liquid electrical tape and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the wire down through the neck here and pull it through the bottom and I've got my one LED here for the launch tube which will fit right in the end like so and I'm going to glue that into position right here and I have that glued in place and it lights up and it's working and you can see that there and then I've got my other two here all dried with the electrical tape and I have the wire running down the neck and I just have that taped and held down to keep it out of the way and I've tucked the other two LEDs away that I won't be using. I had also forgotten on the back portion of this lower there's a little window here um, I had forgotten about that previously when I did the lights and you can see it lights up but you know it's not lighting up very well so I have a little piece of diffusion here which you can see when I just hold it in front of the window how the window all of a sudden just lights up so I've gone and I've glued a double layer of diffusion on each of those little windows on each side and you can see the difference it shows up it looks much cleaner you can't see inside and move it around so it looks more like an actual window now so that turned out fine so on the upper portion of this neck here there's an LED that goes in there right inside this hole which is a flashing blinking LED and it just fits right inside there in the top so I need to secure that in place so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that in position with some cement here and get that secured in place and a little test here and you can see that lights up and that flashes and with that glued in place I also need to cover this up because I need to paint this back area so I'm going to fill in this LED with some of my latex again to block it when I paint and this lower portion of the neck I also need to paint as well and this right here so I've got these two areas to paint and I have this taped off and I'm gonna use some buff with just a couple drops of dark iron in there and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna airbrush these two areas the way I'd like it and get that going And I've got that painted, it's dried, and then I'm just going to pull my tape off here to check out my lines here, and they look nice and clean. And with that, it is time to put this all together, and I've got this wire from the upper portion that I also need to run down through the neck. And I'm going to tape that down to the neck as well, just to hold the wires out of place so they don't get in the way and then I've got these two plugs to plug the top half and the lower half together and then I need to install the upper portion of the neck and I'm just gonna glue that down into position and then I've got some clamps here holding it until my glue dries and my blinking light is still working and you can even see it shining through the latex and it's nice and bright and I have this little clear piece that I will need to put over it at a later point but I'm not going to do that until I finish painting the rest of the model so that it doesn't get covered over itself and that will need to be painted a clear red color and I also have these two little pieces that need to go on either side here the back portion of the neck and they just fit right inside here on the sides. So with the neck together it's time to glue my upper portion down to the lower portion. And I'm going to put this into position here and get this glued and secured. And I'm also not going to wait. At this point I'm going to go ahead and remove my latex from the bridge windows here from the clear red portion 
Um, I can cover those up again later when it's time to start detailing, but I just want to light this guy up and make sure this is all working and looking okay. So I'm going to go through carefully and remove all that. And I've got this whole thing ready to go, this light blinking. I have all the lights, the windows, everything in this entire assembly is hooked up and ready to go and do a light test. And here we are. Looks great. I'm really happy with it so far. Um, all the lighting is nice and evenly lit. Um, I do have some tape over these upper portions of windows, which I'll do to the lower windows. But um, for now, that's why those are yellow. I have tape covering. But all around, the lighting looks great. It's nice and evenly lit. Here's the two back lights, which still have latex over them, so they'll be a little bit brighter once I pull that latex off. And you can see that little window here that I just did last minute with the diffusion. But um, everything is looking great. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. All the lighting is nice and even. And yeah, this is great. Ready to move on to the next portion of the model build. So I'd like to thank you for joining in for this episode. And that concludes the entire first sub-assembly portion. So thanks again for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.